Hi, welcome. This is chapter two. Modifying tools. First of all, I am going to explain the move tool. Move tool is help us to move a object from one point to another point, which is customized by us. First. Click on the move tool, then select the object and right click or enter. Then click the snap point. Now I am going to snap, uh, pick a snap point at the corner. So click it at here, then move it by distance. If you want to give the distance as 25, you can type 25. This automatically move from here to here 25 distance. It's a move tool. So end the example. Click on move, select the object, and enter. Pick a point and hit. This is a move tool. Next one, rotate. Rotate means if you want to rotate the object, you can use this. Rotate command or tool. Click on rotate button or rotate icon. Then select the object. Then enter. To ro rotate, we have to show the specific base, base point. So I am picking the center. Then I am going to enter manually. So if you want to give the 45. Likewise, you can enter the 45 degree angle. So I am giving 45. This automatically rotated to 45 angle. So we can check it. Click on here. Then go to angular. Click. Click. Yeah, the 45 angle. This is the basic concept of this rotate. There's so many options are there. First, click on rotate. Then select the object then in now I am going to rotate this line with the reference of this angle yep already I gave this angle as 45 but now I want to rotate this line without entering the value which is this reference as this line so click on rotate and select the object then enter click the base point then you have to select the reference so click on the reference then here rotate specifically with the reference angle so I am going to rotate this line with the reference of 45 now also I can enter the 45 before I can use the point so click on this point then select these two points this automatically converted into this angle so next so for example next example I can rotate this now I am drawing a unknown angle now this is unknown angle now I am going to rotate this line to this angle so click on rotate select the source object then enter pick the base point click reference and this is my line I have to rotate then reference this point first point second point this automatically converted into uh, uh, you can see here this is a parallel here you can see the the main option of this rotate is there like this now I want to uh, draw a vertical line this line but with the copy of this one I can draw manually this is here but we can use this rotate command also click on rotate and select the object enter pick the base point and the Reference 
first point second point then click on point right i can rotate it okay. now we can use the copy command in rotate so click on rotate tool then select the object then enter pick the base point click the copy right now i have a copy then different so difference is i will give 45 and right i can rotate it by 45 degree and this is a copy so i have two object it's a rotate command now i am going to explain the trim tool trim tool is used for trimming object trimming object means we can delete or cut in between intersect points first click on trim tool then select the object which is i am going to cut now i am going to i am already decided to cut this object so click on trim tool and select this object by crossing window then enter i am going to trim this object click on this object trim it also i can trim this object also then enter this is the trim command now i have a object like this now here i can use the trim command without selecting object so click on trim tool then enter this now the so wherever in the six points are selected now i am going to trim this object by clicking this window and enter o escape this is the trim command now i am going to extend now first space easy i'm selecting this and picking the grid point and dragging and drop this is the extending method or else you can use this object to extend it to here click on extend tool then select the object enter select the source of this automatically extend another way click on extend button then enter wherever needed we can extend the easy way we can extend by this the extend command now erase command we can use the delete key also and also you can use the erase command now here a single line is here i am going to delete by clicking this and press deleting key or else you can use the erase button and click the object then enter you can use this both way next command copy copy command means i can copy this object or duplicate this object it means i can make one or more copy click on this copy command then the select objects then enter pick a snap point then you can place wherever you need you can use the group of object enter likewise you can use copy command next one mirror mirror means i can get next command is mirror mirror means i can get a shadow or mirrored object click on this mirror and select all these object then enter i can draw a line 
which is the mirror. Now I have two objects. This is source and also duplicated object. Now here the option is here. This source object I can delete by clicking this yes. Now I have duplicate object. Now I am going to introduce fillet command or fillet tool. Fillet tools we can bend objects. Now I have this T function. Now I am I am going to draw a arc it here. Basically we can do this three points or circle. Now I am going to use this fillet command. Click on this fillet. Then here we have several options options now i am going to give a make a arc go through this two line so i am clicking this radius and give the value as 5 then enter now i have to select first line and second line now i have drawn this arc i don't have any reference only these two lines this automatically get this radius this is the very easy tool to use bend as the same object now I am going to draw a bend it here with trimming the objects so I am already I am draw a L shape now I want to draw a arc it go through here and also I have to trim so now I can use this by this fillet command so click on fillet then give the radius as 2 then enter now it's automatically draw as this arc also I want to trim it so only one option is there click on trim then click on trim first line second it's automatically trim if you don't want to trim the object use this no trim this object will no trim the object this is the fillet command now i have a polyline object is here it's already drawn so click on fillet then radius the value is 2 is ok enter then click on the polyline then select the polyline this automatically draw the arc is inside of this rectangle now I make a copy now I am going to trim this object by the clicking the fillet command click on fillet then radius ok to then trim just trim then polyline click on polyline the click the object this automatically cut those corners next option of fill click on fillet go to radius and give it the value as 2 enter now I have so many objects to bend so I already gave my radius as 2 and click on multiple if I click at this multiple I can use this command without reuse so click on multiple I can do this without re-enter the values next command is chamfer chamfer means we can taper the angles the chamfer so click on chamfer here so many options are there first polyline before we had seen the polyline option with this the fillet command likewise is a no indifference the same 
and also trim also same object as same option and also multiple multiple also same as same as the fillet command here the new commands are distance angle and method this method referencing this distance and angle so we don't see this method I am going to explain the distance and angle here I am going to taper a corner by clicking or picking to distance now I have a, like this object uh, 10 by 10 and also vertical 10 now I have a corner like this now I am going to tapering this by the distance first is distance 5 and second distance 5 here distance is measuring from here from the end point to this side so always measuring the distance so now I am going to make a distance by entering values the so click on same and click on distance now I want to pick a value without entering value I am clicking this point and get this mid midpoint and enter this the distance value so clicking this first point and second point this automatically tapered this corner here I can click on this linear then take a point click on point and this here the 10 distance this is my 10 distance but taper and taper distance is 5 which is go through this distance so always this chamfer taking the distance from this corner next option in chamfer click on chamfer then click on distance now I am going to give two different distance first distance is 5 and enter second distance is 7 enter now this is my first line and here the second line now I can confirm it by clicking the line here here the 5 distance and from this point to here 7 distance which is already I gave first distance is 5 and second distance is 7 next option in shape click on chamfer go to angle here chamfer length on first line chamfer line in first line here I have to give the length as 5 then enter the angle from first line from first line angle this angle so I can give here the 30 then enter first line second line I can confirm it draw a line first line second line it's a 30 degree and also from here to here the distance is 5 next command is explode click on this explode button this explode button this explode option will help us to separate these parts here this is the polyline this polyline made by these four lines and four arc so I want to separate those parts click on the explode button and select the object then enter this automatically exploded into several parts it means four lines and four arcs. This is the explode command. 
Next command is stage. This stage will help us to extend the object's length. Here, already I drawn this these lines and arc. I drawn an object six by six and made some arc also. Purposely, I drawn here six. I want to extend this line up to ten. So, if I want to make as this thin i have to move this up to four distance then i have to join but this stage command is easy to do that job so click on this stage and select by this this window like this more than half you have to select like this then click and enter. Then pick a point. From this point, I can give four distance. I can type it here four, then enter. Here, this is ten. It's the stage command. Here I have six distance. Now I want I want to extend this six distance to eighteen distance. So I have to extend twelve. So click on this stage, then select those and enter, pick a point, I have to enter the value as 12 in in. This is a stage command. Scale command is enlarging the object. It means x and y same distance. That is the scale command. So click on this x scale command, then select the object then enter here I have to pick a center point or else somewhere else now I am picking this center point or else here I can wherever I can choose so now I am picking this point and enter the value now I want to enlarge this object by twice so giving by 2 then I can enlarge this object by 2 so you can see here 36 and 20 Already I had 18 and 10. So this is the twice the row. Now I am going to reduce this half of this. So click on this scale and select the object and pick the pick this point. Then give the value is 0.5 the half and enter. Here the value. So likewise we can use this scale command to enlarge and reduce the object values reference option in scale command here already drawn a line which is unknown distance or unknown length now I have to enlarge this distance I have to enlarge this object according to the this length of line so this line will be denoted by this line so click on scale command then select the object then enter pick the point yes I am going to pick this point then click on reference reference length means pick these two points now I have to extend this object so I don't know the value of this length so I can select four peak points. So click on points, first point and second point. Here 47.55. I can check it also. Click on first point, second point. 47.5. So I, I enlarge this object from this reference line. Next command array. Here array in array three options are there. This one is called as rectangular array. Rectangular array will be placing columns and rows. So click on rectangular array and select the object then enter. Here we have columns and rows. Here columns 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 columns and rows 3. We can adjust by 
typing here or else you can tracking here or tracking here you can do both way so now i am going to here give here columns as 10 enter and row as 5 enter this is my rectangular array then enter here i have i have made the array now i am going to edit this array so click on this array then you have the array palette i am going to edit source so i don't know where this is the source object so clicking on edit source and select the array then click ok here this is my source object now i am going to edit this source object now i am going to click here at the vertex and click this vertex and i am going to do like this object then escape this is my source object and click in edit array and save change if you don't want to change this object you can discard now i am going to save this change you can see here you can edit any object source object converted from the source object i am going to replace the object click on this array and click on replace item select the replacement object just yes, this object i have to replace so click and enter so select the array item to replace so i am going to click the array here this is also i want to replace click this also i want to replace this also likewise i can replace according to my wish here this object but still it still keep in array now i have a array which is created already i i have created this one now i am going to play with this array so click on this array here so many options are there here this is for the column this is for the row now i am going to increase the distance between two objects here this distance you already give uh, already here 56 this value i am going to enter the value as 100 enter here the 100 means from this object to this object 100 distance here i am going to enter the value as 75 then enter here the row distance 75 and between distance here the column between distance is 100 so total distance is 900 now i am i can uh, edit this value also so now i am going to here enter the value as 1000 this automatically get this value as 11 111.11 likewise i can edit this rows also here i am going to give a rounded value as 100 then enter here total value is 900 also this between line this between rows 75 distance now i am going to give 100 distance here 100 enter this is my object 100 distance 1 2 3 4 5 so here five columns hundred distance. I am going to I want to go to this total value as five hundred or six hundred. I will get into the six six hundred. Let's automatically get this value as one fifty. Likewise, you can edit those values according to your purpose. In array, next command is path n. So click on path array here this is my path 
and this is my source object. Now I am going to place this object into this part. So select this object, then enter, select the part. Here this is already placed. Right now here this is aligned. Here we have aligned the item of op option. So click here. Here the option is the aligned items to path. No, this is this path is not aligned by this uh, source of now I am going to align array items. Then the, I am going to uh, align these items to this path. So click on yes, this automatically adjust those tangent point. This is not not good you can edit also click on align item and click no this is a place technique next command is polar array this polar array will help us to rotate the objects here click this drop down button and click on polar array click the source object this is my source object so click on source object then enter here polar array center point which center point do you want to rotate this object so i am going to give this point so already rotated that object here item is six yes six items in between angle 60 here filled by 30, 360 degree angle now here i am going to edit this value as 12 the angle is 30 here 30 value so already place and also here you can rotate items and direction you can make a direction and items you can make it likewise you can adjust according to your purpose offset command o offset click on this offset it will make parallel lines or parallel objects click on this offset and enter the distance now i am going to enter the distance or else i can pick points as a distance here yeah, i can offset all objects so offset most of the powerful tool to make parallel objects please subscribe my channel and get new updates of autocad tutorials